I got this tool post. Uh, it's AccuSize. I've had no real trouble with this brand previously. Um, but there's a slight twist to the story here, and that is in the adjusting nut. Somebody put on some drunken threads. It uh, wobbles around, and that would make it a little bit hard to adjust the height accurately. So time to try to fix the issue. Okay, we're going to start by turning the OD down to 1.1 inches. Uh, it's, the OD is not critical, but uh, that's roughly what it measures out at. And the thickness of each of the uh, adjusting knobs is 0 0.258 inches. It's not exact in metric either, so I'm not sure why they came up with that number, but that's what it is. We'll remove 50 thou at a time and go in uh, to a distance of about one and a quarter inches. Final pass to bring it down to a diameter. The exact OD is not important. I uh, just wanted to try to hit that target. Okay, next I'm gonna try out this new knurling tool that I got recently. This goes into the tool holder and it has an adjustable gap, which can be altered by this nut down here to allow more pressure to be applied evenly on both sides of the part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the, um, the tool upside down Originally, this bolt was going in in this direction so that the adjusting bolt or the clamping bolt was pointing up. But the problem is that if it's pointing up and this is installed in here correctly, then the bolt would interfere with the height adjusting uh, knob up here. So what I did was I took this bolt out. Originally, it was going in this way and I've put it in the other way. Let's see how that works out. Okay, next, the bolt here is the pivoting point for the knurl, and I believe the center of the bolt should be at the uh, center height of the lathe. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to adjust that. Next, tightening the knurl uh, tension nut should bring the knurls together over here over the uh, part that to be knurled. And then the final adjustment should be uh, centering the axis of the knurls over the central part, uh, over the axis of the lathe. There's a tiny nubbin here, and uh, I'm gonna use that as a reference at a straight edge and see if you can get it about right. All right, here we go. This needed to be tightened up quite a bit. Okay, there's a little bit of a knurling pattern developing, but it's very messy. Now I'm gonna tighten the knurl by half a turn. We'll go ahead and lock this in place. We're getting a knurl, but it's not really deep enough, so I'm gonna tighten it by another uh, quarter of a turn or half a turn. First, to loosen this, tighten this back up. half 
get some nerve fibers in there. Ugly fibers, but beautiful nerve. I think this is a success. It works and it requires a little bit of finagling, switching things around, uh, but it definitely works and it gives a much better nerved pattern uh, than the um, push-on type uh, does. I have that as well. And with this one, you just have to apply a lot of pressure in this direction. And if you don't apply adequate pressure, you don't get a good neural developing. Okay, this is good. Next, we'll go ahead and do spot drilling and then tap and drill for a 10 millimeter by one uh, thread. All right, this is a nine millimeter drill and we'll go in uh, to just over 1.1 inch. Next, we'll go ahead and do a 10 millimeter by one metric tap. Time for a test fit. Good. Next we'll do some chamfering and parting. We'll go over 0.258, which is the thickness. And then we'll go ahead and clear out the nerve so that the parting tool can go in without too much trouble. Okay, we've cleared out a diameter there for the parting tool. First, we will align it so that it is going in absolutely, uh, absolutely parallel. The parting is going to be done at about two and a half thou per revolution. And do some front facing just to make sure that Everything is absolutely flat on this end. Okay, back to Z0 and once again, parting under power. Perfect. All right, for the next one, I am going to face off. Uh, I'm gonna clean the face off first before I do anything else. All right, next we're gonna see how much of a bow we've got from the parting tool. This part, the central part seems to be further out than the edge. So I'm gonna Z0 closer to the center and then check again to see where the touch off point is further out. Okay, that is a touch off. Get a back off on the X. And that is 24 thou across a distance of 0.556 inches. So my parting tool alignment was not perfect. It was cutting more towards the tailstock. Okay, next we'll go over and make room for the second one. Let's see how deep the knurl actually is. I'm gonna to touch off and now we'll go in deeper until the knurl goes away. Still there. Okay, the neural depth was about 13 thou. Okay, I'm gonna redo the eyeball alignment of the uh, parting tool. And looking straight down, I think that is, actually, I, I had misjudged it on the last attempt. And when I look at it again more carefully, I can see that the tool is pointed a little bit more towards a tailstock, a hair, so. Let's take a hair out. Any minute now. Beautiful. Well, I still see a bow and it's actually worse. About 35,000 this time. Anyway, I'll keep working on trying to get the alignment right. So I'm gonna go ahead and face this off and there's enough of a knurl here that I could get another part out of it. Okay, I'm gonna try something different. I've not readjusted the parting tool, but I'm gonna create a nice big uh, groove for the parting tool. And it may be that the previous groove that I was going into was slightly misaligned because of the uh, chamfering that I had done. 
Okay, this time I have removed the chamfered edges. RPM is a little bit higher at 135. You can see the higher RPM is making the chips appear a little bit hotter, but they're also coming off better. Everything is a little bit hotter, so I'm gonna use more lube. For this one, I may have to go ahead and complete the thread later on. The tap may not have gone in deep enough. Less, only 14 thou this time. The uh, chamfered end edge may have had a little bit of an effect on it. Uh, it may have got the tool going in slightly off uh, track right at the beginning, and then once the groove developed, then the tool had no chance of straightening itself out. Time for some final adjustments. Uh, we want to go ahead and level off this side as well. It'll undoubtedly have a little concavity in it because of the bow on the other side. That's enough to deburr it. And now to see if things have sobered up or not. Here is the new nut. Looks good. Once again, we come to the end of an episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.